when you have a community of thousands, I mean thousands, and they're helping each other, that help escalates the learning within the community. Oh, well, yeah, because we have our subgroup leaders, like I said, they're active and they're 10 years in the business. And it's like having a mentor for two hours when you show up to the subgroup. But, you know, you can only ask so many questions or, get, right. you know, speak to them so much. So, yeah, you know, hopefully they'll be on, on the forums as well. We'll have multiple time members to help members. That's the main, main point. You're listening to The Azria Show. If you're looking for quality real estate investing information that you can trust, you've found it. Stay tuned and join the tens of thousands of members that have already benefited from Azria, your home for education, market information, support, and networking opportunities that will advance your real estate investing career. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, Azria family. Welcome to the show. This is another Azria show. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. So instead of Mike being my co-host and me being his co-host, we're going to interview Mike on today. As you may know, he has become now the executive director of Azria, which is very big shoes to fill, Alan Langston's. You guys know Alan has been doing this for over 20 years, around 20 years, and he has really been given back to the community. And now we have Mike as the executive director. So I want to have just an intimate setting so you guys can get a chance to know Mike, know what he's all about, because you see him around as real. He has on his We Hearts Houses hat. But if you haven't, haven't had the chance, to formally be introduced to Mike or go up and shake his hand, we want to give you a chance to do that today. So, Mike, how are you today, sir? Wonderful, wonderful. Thanks for having me, man. Appreciate it. Great, 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 Mike. So, <laughs> being the director, executive director of Azria, again, those are big shoes to fill. So, yeah. kind of give us a little bit of the backstory, man. Who is Mike Del Preet and how did he get to this point? So, let's start with who is Mike Del Preet. Great question. So, well, I'll just kind of jump into kind of like the real estate world, right? So it's just like a lot of, like most of us, right? Working nine to five. I was working nine, nine to five at Verizon Wireless, doing the job thing. I just always knew I wanted something better. As much as I liked the place, it was a great place. I was always curious and, and wanted to know, how can I do better than this? Punching in that time clock every day, I couldn't stand it. So, you know, that kind of led me into the water cooler talk, right? I was standing by the water cooler kind of thing. Everyone was talking about how, how houses were like five, 10 grand. And I remember like a year or two before that, it was houses were four or five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so you're saying five or ten grand. This had to be in what, 2007, 2008? Yeah, easy. It was probably, yeah, eight, definitely eight going into okay. nine. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, anyway, so that that's where I kind of got interested. Someone's like, hey, these houses are on hotpads.com, they're super cheap. Thought something was weird there, right? So, I got curious. Started going online, like looking up real estate. You know, I was watching HGTV at that time, right? You okay. See all the big numbers. So I was like, hey, man, that can change my life, right? I just noticed that I was like, how do I get in involved? Like, you're on bigger pockets, you're on all these forums. And you're like, I can't, you know, fix and flip money, know how to do everything, cash, yeah. credit. You can't even think those numbers at that time where you're at in your life, right? Right. right. And you have know, had, a, you know, my wife, we had our, my son was probably like one or two years old. So how am I going to do that? You know, landlording, 800, 900 bucks a month in rent. Then after everything's paid off, you got like 100, 200 bucks. And yeah. Like, how do you get rich? How do you, <laughs> you know, how do I quit my job doing that? And even a real estate agent was like, it's commission based. You got to go start over, build the business. So, you know, anyway, I found the word wholesaling. Okay. Get rich. <laughs> right. No money, no money down, no money out of pocket. Yeah. I saw, I saw in a forum, it was, uh, it was a uh, 5k in 30 days. I was like, that's me. I can do that. <laughs> you know, okay. That, so I just went down that rabbit hole online of how do I do this? And I found a gentleman on YouTube at that time, which was unheard of, 100 free videos on wholesaling real estate. So gotcha. I basically, I just watched them and I applied them. Simple enough. And that's how it, I kicked off and into real estate. Okay. So, and, and you're a firm fixture in the Phoenix real estate market here. As you all know, this industry is vast, but Mike is definitely a fixture in the industry. So Mike, kind of tell me and, and tell us, we know you wanted to do something different. We know you wanted to position your family in a different way. How did you become affiliated with Azria? Well, you know, Azria, that, that's from day one, right? So when I was researching once i figured out the whole wholesaling thing and i started watching those videos what do you always hear yep 
so go check out your, go local, tell you your local Ria. Right. So what's that? You know, let me go, let me go there too. I'll, you know, you're, you're hungry. You want to do everything you possibly can. You want to absorb everything. So I went to the celebrity theater for the monthly meet. I remember just sitting there by myself, went there by myself. You know, it's very intimidating. You got, you see, a, you just think everyone's rich, right? Yep. You have like yep. real estate investors, right? They're buying the biggest expense, expensive houses, you know, all that. So I was just nervous. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I was kind of sitting there in, in the chair myself, watching Alan give the presentation, all these slides, all these charts, market updates. And I'm just like, what the heck? And then then John Burley was the first time I ever okay. heard John Burley. And, you know, he's given his presentation. Very smooth, man. Just great presenter, great information. And I remember just sitting there going, you know how long it's going to take me <laughs> to get there? Yep. Right? Really? Like, should I just, just leave? Like, should uh -huh. I just throw in the towel? Like, this is big. Right, you right. You know, I, I got to go to work. So, I, you know, so that, that, that's when it started. That's when I, you know, I watched the videos, started doing my first deal. I was going to the RIA meetings. And as RIA, they always had things you can follow. Okay. Like right now we have the self-assessment and uh, with Launchpad and then the core classes. Right? So they, they had core classes that I could follow at that time. So I was able to go to, at my leisure, I was able to sign up for classes and learn. So on top of the learning online and taking action, I was able to also go to follow Azria's path okay. and go down that direction and learn how to network and build relationships and formulate joint ventures and so on. So And that's and that's good because not every not every pathway is set like that. And that's one of the things that's uniquely different about Azria is mm -hmm. that you know you start out with that entrepreneurial self-assessment. So you get to know who you are and what skills you have. And then from there you can determine what avenue you want to go down and go into. And Mike, I, I can definitely understand how you were feeling going to the celebrity. First thing you think, oh, I'm around all of these real estate investors. Everybody is rich and I'm the only one sticking out like a sore thumb, yeah. you know, and I just want the people that's listening, guys, don't feel that way. You know, it's an opportunity for you to be engrossed in the industry around the people that's actually doing uh, what you want to do. So that's a great time for you to have your pen, paper, ask questions, follow up, see who's the person that you need to be connected to. And I'm assuming that's exactly what you did, Mike, because years later, over a decade later, you're still here. So what what kept you what kept you connected to Azria? I think it was the community. Like I said, it's all about relationships, right? And we always say, you, know, you always hear the, the quote, your, your network is your net worth, right? And the, the relationships to do deals. I, I learned how to partner with people. I learned how to, when I didn't have the money, someone else did. If, yep. I, didn't, if I had the, found out, if I found the money, someone else had the deal. So it was that kind of environment and it was consistent, right? So I could come every month, they have multiple classes, you start seeing the same people. Right. And, mm -hmm. that's, and it starts to grow and, and, and slow from there. So, you know, you just keep going. You start, this is starts to become a part of your, your business. Model, yeah. Yep. So to speak. Right. So this is something. Okay. New. All right. So you, you got connected and everything like that. Now, how did you, because I was, I was really curious. I mean, you have been with Azria for over a decade. How did you become, tell us about your foray into being an instructor. So that I had a buddy that, I met through Ezria that we were doing deals and we got to build a relationship and he was friends with Alan. Right. Okay. So, and he, he, he has been an instructor here at Ezria as well. So yeah, you know, we plan to do a class together. Mm -hmm. So that's how we were going to do like some type of beginners type class. So we pitched it to Alan, liked it, just, you know, schedules and gentlemen involved. It just didn't work out. We said okay. we didn't do it, but I kept a uh, communication with Alan and then he, after a thorough research of, of his research, <laughs> you, don't, you don't just become a, as you know, if, you, if you're watching this or listening, um, if you pay attention to any of the subgroup leaders, everyone's been in the business for 10 years. There's a couple, maybe less than like five years, but they've been around another subgroup leader that got mm -hmm. them in. So it's kind of like they're educated, experienced, active investors. Right? And, and thoroughly vetted. <laughs> yep. So I was only even had the opportunity to even sit in front of Alan because the gentleman that was doing deals and instructing. So, which then even from the day I met Alan with him, it was probably another year 
until I actually got in front of the class. Okay. So it wasn't an overnight process. No, not at all. Okay. And that's what I wanted to kind of drive home because I know you said that you, you first went to ASRIA, took, took you some years. You, so you have been affiliated with ASRIA for over a decade. So it's not like you're some Johnny come later, lately upstart, but you've been entrenched in the community for a decade now. You have your times where you come and go, right? But it was a consistent thing. Like I said, just show up to the networking meetings, you show up to the Phoenix Real Estate Club, you do the I Want, I Have, and you do the, yeah, the power networking. So it's just something you always look forward to. Okay. Now, let me ask you this, because I know, but I have a different perspective. But what do you think is one of the strongest reasons why you stayed with Azria versus running off to, you know, some other guru or something like that? I think it was with consistency. It was always here. Okay. Like, come on, man. How many groups from last year are, oh, actually, lack can use last year because they all yeah. have right? so, <laughs> so for we all, you know, for whatever reason. So, but before that, right, people come and go, right? And it's hard. This is mm -hmm. not, but I'm learning and I'm seeing this isn't, hey, I'm just going to put a, a group on meetup.com and show up and teach and it's going to blow up and people are going to come. It, it's work behind the scenes. Uh, the whole staff, Molly, Maureen, Alan, my wife, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. And that's, and, and that's what people need to understand is that it's a lot of work, man. Did you ever expect it to be this much work? I knew it was going to be work, <laughs> you know, but you, you enjoy it. It's like, it's part of the real, it's like, it's part of the real estate business. Right. So I still get to be involved in real estate all day, which is what I love to do. So it, that helps. Um, okay. but yeah, no, no, it, it, it takes a lot, man. You know? Yeah, it so takes a lot. a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. I can see what Alan and Marine have done for the last 19 years, like, and what it took to stay here and the ups and downs and, like, the COVID hitting and, like, they still stuck through it. But they're right. still here giving you updates, market updates, the moratorium updates from uh, Zona Law, like, having our business associates all stick together through the hardest times. You know, yeah, it, 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 yeah, it's great, man. And that's that's the real definition of community is because, you know, through the ups, through the downs, everyone still stuck yep. together and weathered the storm. And you were an integral part of weathering that storm with Alan, Maureen and Molly. And, you know, so as being a community member myself, man, I applaud you guys for everything that you do for the community, because. It is a lot, you know, I'm starting to see a little bit behind the scenes and, and, and it's a lot, you know, just putting on, you know, the monthly meetings, just doing the newsletters, everything like that. It's a great deal of work. But what, what it all comes down to is the, the member, right? So if, if what, all I need to do is do what Alan did, mm -hmm. right? So what he did worked Yep. yep. Right? for a long time. And, and, it, and it was always about the member. So how, how do we add value to the member? How do, how do we get them the right support for their business? How do we get them the right information for the business? So if I continue, I know if I keep that baseline, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think we're, we're, we're good to go. I'm confident. Yeah, because Alan laid a strong foundation. And like you said, the foundation is the member. Yep. You know, 100%. and that's what you're carrying on that tradition of Allen's is, mm -hmm. hey, I'm focused on providing service to our members, to the member base. And like you said, as long as you continue to do that, you'll continue to be successful. Yep, agree. So kind of kind of going forward, and we're going to be wrapping up here real soon. What do you see for ASRIA going forward? What are some of your goals, dreams, ambitions for the membership base, for mm -hmm. the community, for ASRIA as a whole? All right, big question there. All right, so... So let me start by the, saying this. I always knew I wanted to help people. Okay. I, know, I never knew how I was going to do it. Just distractions, just life. You know, mm -hmm. knucklehead at times growing up, right? So, you know, I just didn't know how I was going to do it. But I always know when I pick someone up off the ground, it was cool. I felt good. Yep. How, but, you know, in life, in society, you're always like, got to make money, though. How do you, you know, I, right. I just, you know, it took a while to see. Some of us are late bloomers, right? Like it took me a while to figure it out. So I, I know I like helping people. So so how can I help more people? And real estate, like I said, changed my life. Literally, I still pinch myself every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And how did this, some of the things, how life plays out, if you, if you keep 
at it, things work out. It's not easy. It's never easy, right? It's always going to be problems. It always works out. So how can I help more people go through what I did? So there was, you may see the article all the time, Forbes, every year they roll it out. 67%, whatever it is, if people don't have $400 in their bank account or an emergency. So what if we can show someone how to close one wholesale deal a year? Mm -hmm. Five grand, right? If they use it properly, that will help, right? Yep. If we could show someone to buy one house per year, right? Net 400 bucks a month. There you there go. There you go. Right? Yep. How, how can we, I think we need to have even more members, right? So mm-hmm. I, that just, just with that basic concept, right? And I can't do it by myself. I needed the whole community to do it. And, right. and hopefully everyone believes in that as well, right? So all we have the thousands of members we have, Right, we're very smart. We mm-hmm. got a skill set that n- not too many people have. We have creative minds. We're problem solvers. Right? Yes, we got to help ourselves. We got to help our families. But what if we just helped that? You told one extra friend at work, "Hey, why don't you go check out this meeting? It doesn't have yep. to be the big meeting. You know, core class, whatever. You, you know." So, so there's two young young kids that come to almost all the networking events, 15 and 17. Yep. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. They're probably listening too. So I can't imagine being 15. <laughs> I know it. I and know and it. after a class, they ask questions. What's this? What's that? Why'd you say that? How come mm-hmm. this happens? Right, right. Like, wow, like it's amazing. So, and I the older brother, 17 years old, and when when we were leaving the Robin Thompson event, he's like, I just don't want to work anymore where he's working. And he kind of like I heard it hear it in his voice, like uh-huh. I don't want to do that anymore, man. And, and, and the mom brings them to all the events. Excellent. And Excellent. You know what I mean? And she just, she's changing and they're changing the trajectory of their entire family. Mm-hmm. Right. It took me 42 years, you know, the last 10 years, 12 years to figure this out. Right. So they're starting so young, man. Why can't we just help one more person do that? Yep. Right. Like you just invite one more person to come to Ezria. It doesn't even have to be here. Show them real estate. Right, you know, so so that that that's I that's where I'm stemming from, right? So okay. going so as we get more members and more people are are associated with us, how can we add better value? So there's things that we want to do more classes. Like we already got a hundred events scheduled for the year, wow. right? from from small little meetings to the monthly meeting to national speakers, right? So. I want to do more events. I want to get more online events, right? Okay. So, and, and one of the big things that I feel that that was missed out on, on a lot is is the online forum aspect of it. Not as RIA. I think all the RIAs at some mm-hmm. level, right? Because bigger pockets came in, they just rolled out an online forum and that's right. where everybody right. goes. Everybody went. We can only do so much. Well, how do I say this? You can do a lot there, but they had to get to a point where they had to start getting state focused. Yeah. Because someone in Nebraska can't help someone in Arizona at all, you know, depending right. on what it is. So they started creating Arizona networking groups online mm-hmm. in Arizona forums, which I still network in there myself. So that's what I'm getting at. I mean, I'm, we're going to roll out. We're actually working on the back end part of that. So we're going to have our okay. own online forum where members don't have to, can't always make it to an event. Right, right. You know, can't always make it to a Zoom call. Right. But maybe you just have a quick question. You want our members to help you have a monthly perspective on the historic district and you're in the middle mm-hmm. of a flip or permits or whatever it may be. You can now, you will be soon to do that in the back end. Yeah. So that's one, you know, some of the things I'm thinking. So that yeah. way members, members can help members. Yes. Um, that's, it. That's, that's very, it. that's very good because you can have, you know, 10, 15 subgroup leaders, but that's only 10, 15. But when you have a community of thousands, I mean, thousands, and they're helping each other, that help escalates the learning within the community. Oh, 100%. Yeah, because we have our subgroup leaders. Like I said, they're active and they're 10 years in the business. And it's like having a mentor for two hours when you show up to the subgroup. But, you know, you can only ask so many questions or, get, right. you know, speak to them so much. So, yeah, they'll, you know, hopefully they'll be on there on the on the forums as well. We'll have multiple time members to help members. That's, that's the main thing. And one of the things that I really like about Asria, like you said, you had mentioned during COVID, the moratorium and everything like that. Well, the community was releasing, you know, information every time there was an update, Mm 
throughout yeah. the state regarding that. Is there is that some other things like that as we'll be looking to do in the yeah. future? Yeah, all, it's, it's, it's a constant thing, especially with our, our relationship with the national RIA, right? Because, you know, you know or, or our business associates like Vantage IRA. Mm -hmm. When the last the last proposal, one of the last bills, that, that's just another thing we do. We focus on all the, the laws and the bills that are, that are coming down the pipeline with our business associates and attorneys. We're able to see these things and, and be let our members be first to know and what the for example for the last thing that happened they were trying to shut down in short the ira and this most right. recent bill that was passed so i advantage ira they did a, a plug and play copy and paste basically send this message to your senators here's where you send it via email website voicemail whatever it is they already wrote it for you and then and they immediately rolled that out for all our members and actually, it's funny you say that. I was talking to Daniel at Vantage, and the senator's office said they got bombarded by us. Wow, yeah, that's was, good. It was overwhelming. So if we don't put these messages out, if we're not here to put those messages out, we couldn't almost maybe not have an IRA right, right now. That right. is very important. That, that would have hurt us. And that's the power of community, you know. And that's and that's why it's so big. That's why it's so important for us as real estate investors as as real community members to make sure that we stay entrenched and connected to each other. That's why, yeah, I think that form, that form aspect is going to be huge, yeah. you know, with Azria. Even, even with social media too. So it's like, um, we're on all the channels now, right? Where everyone has their own way of communicating the platform that they like, we're always going to be on all of them. We're on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, everything. So that's another way of just, rather than just receiving our emails, always check yeah. out your emails, but sometimes you don't get them or you don't, you overlook. It's another way to communicate with us. So please check, you know, be on Instagram with us, Facebook, whatever tool you like to use. We're on there now. So yep. check so, out the podcast, right? Yep. <laughs> Here so are. just, just yeah. remember, you know, forward slash Azria. That's all you need to remember. It's just forward slash Azria. Facebook forward slash Azria. Instagram forward slash Azria. Azria is there. So if you want your information, and you need to have your information. As Rhea is doing a great job at putting that information out there for you. Yeah. You're, you're part of that, Marcus. Thank you, too. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I, I mean, I consider it an opportunity. Like, like you said, Mike, I love to give back. And it was that dichotomy between, you know, how can I make money? You know, because you need money, you know, but how can you still help people? And I found As Rhea to be a great fit for me to answer the call in the both, you know, to be able to make money, but yet still be able to help people. Yeah. It's just a byproduct of, of the environment. We give you deals. Yeah. Here we yeah. are. We <laughs> deals. And, you know, if someone wants to do a deal to make it happen. Like I always say in all the classes, the last three years, I raised all my money to buy all my rentals in here and in Cleveland with partnerships that I've built friendships, mm -hmm. you know, long-term friendships and partnerships, man. It's been great. Great. And, and, that's what's good about the community. It's not just teaching. It's not just coaching or anything like that, but it's about that true interaction and investors doing deals with investors. Yeah, so that's what it's about. Okay. Well, Mike, in parting, we wanted to keep it short. We just wanted to do a brief introduction of who you are. Guys, what I want you to do, please promise me this. When you see Mike at the next event, no matter what event it is, if it's the prec, if it's the monthly meeting, or if it's a subgroup meeting, Please go up, introduce yourself to Mike, shake his hand. He's a very, very personable person, but just don't keep him too long because although he may seem quiet and shy here on the podcast, Mike do like to talk. Yeah, I might keep you too long. <laughs> <laughs> Mike do like to talk. Don't let him be misleading. So that's what I want you guys to do. I want you to go up to him, you know, show him some love, welcome him to being the executive director because he has some very huge shoes to fill. And we thank Alan for the 20 years of service and work that he did laying the foundation with Azria. So and, and for, for everyone, you know, that's curious, all our long time, a lot of long time members, Alan is still here. He's still doing the market update. He's at our meetings weekly. He has a lot of insight and he, he's a lot in the direction we're going. He, he's a sounding board for us. So he's still involved. So Come out to the monthly meeting, make sure to say hi to him. Yeah, definitely. You just got off the phone with my Alan, yeah. just had a meeting. So he's very, very much entrenched. 
come on, guys. He's been here for 20 years. This is his baby. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you want to make sure everything is still going in the right direction, which, Mike, you're a formidable person to make sure it stays that way. So, in parting, any last words, man? No, thanks for having me on our podcast. <laughs> I appreciate it. And I look forward to, you know, another 20 years at Ezria, meeting everyone personally as much as possible, providing great classes, you know, more content for everyone and supporting everyone's business. So we're here for you. Speak up. Let us know how we can help. All right, guys. And thank you so much. And be be aware, we, we may be sending out or looking at possibly talking about some surveys just to get some feedback yeah. from you guys so we know what classes you want, what speakers you want to hear from, things like that. That way we can really provide the content and the services that you, the member, is looking for because we can come up with all of these great ideas, but if it don't fit with what the members are looking for, hey, it's not going to work. So right, let us know. So let us know. Mike, thank you so much, man. You You got big shoes to fill, but we're all here to support you. And members, make sure you reach out to Mike and support him as well. So you know what to do. Get out there. Go out there and get some deals done. Go to asria.org, asria.org for all of your information about what's going around, going on in the investing community around the state of Arizona. Okay. Thank you, guys. See you later. Thanks for listening to The Azria Show with your hosts, Marcus Maloney and Mike Delpreet. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you found this information valuable, head over to azria.org and learn more about our community.